What does it mean to become a legend in one of the hardest games ever made, Pogo Stuck? Well, it's pretty simple. Just beat every single map, every single game mode, and complete every single achievement. And then, only then will you have unlocked the final test to see if you are worthy of becoming a Pogo Stuck legend. The Legend Exam. The Legend Exam is a time-based challenge where you have to beat map 1, 2, and 3 in a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back run in just 15 minutes. Just for a little perspective, it took me 52 hours to beat map 1, 35 hours to beat map 2, and 5 hours to beat map 3. That's 93 hours in total. I would have to get my time down to 15 minutes if I wanted to become a legend. So, I grinded. A lot. I got my map 1 time down to 4 minutes 28 seconds, which I was actually pretty happy with. My map 2 time, however, was not so good at an 8 minute 49 second time. My map 3 time was 4 minutes 32 seconds, which is not bad, but knowing the nerves I would get on this map, as it's the final map in the run, it was going to be hard to get a time like this in an actual run. So my overall time was 17 minutes 9 seconds, which is a good bit over the 15 minute requirement, but that would just mean I would need to get PBs in my exam attempts. When I was ready to take the exam, I decided I would spice things up a little by saying, If I don't get... Legend, by the end of this year, I will say Pogo stuck 10,000 ti 10, times in one stream. It was December 15th, so I did have 16 days to beat it. But on my first attempt of the exam, I managed to have the single worst first attempt in history. Okay, not too bad. I got a 14 minute run. But can I not even do the next map? I could not. I had nearly spent the full 15 minutes just on one map. I had to beat two other maps. So I wasn't beating it anytime soon, but I did have a deadline. So I started streaming 12 hours a day until I started getting runs deep into map two. But that's when the first major problems came to light. Cliffs 2.0. Many of you will be familiar with cliffs from map 1. Arguably the scariest part of map 1 because the fall is so goddamn big. But it's also really hard. It's two tight jumps that a lot of new players struggle with. But me, as a person who has put nearly 400 hours into the game, I don't really struggle with it anymore. But this is where cliffs 2.0 comes in. It's just cliffs but a lot fucking harder. You just have a lot less space. And if you fall, your run is most likely dead because the fall is pretty big there as well. I cannot stress how many runs I lost here. It got to the point when I got a good map one time and made it to map two, I had absolutely no confidence because I knew I would just fail at Cliffs 2.0. Those few times I actually made it past it on a doable pace, there was one last thing in map two that I had to overcome. And that was map two blocks. Probably the most infamous part of map two, its final obstacle, specifically the window jump. Now I know this jump looked really easy, but when you're this deep into a run, you get really nervous. If you mess up this jump, you will bonk down and the run is over. And when I say I mess this jump up a lot, I really, really mean it. Now at this point, I had started the exam 13 days ago. I only had three days left until 2024, which was the deadline. You might be thinking, he hasn't even talked about map three and there's only three days left. Well, there's a reason for that. I was almost never getting there. I had streamed every single day, bar Christmas, and I was only now getting to the point where I might get a map 3 run once or twice stream with a decent time. 90% of map 3 isn't that hard, but in the exam it is a complete battle with your nerves. If you could stay relaxed and have your nerves under control, you could make it to the final area with a decent time. But the final 10% of map 3 is truly the hardest, scariest, 
and most fucked up part of any map in Pogo Stuck. Map 3 Blocks. Blocks is a series of vertically placed small blocks that you have to climb up with extreme precision. And in the exam, climbing these blocks while seeing that timer go down is one of the most nerve-wracking things I've ever done in my life. It was the 30th of December and I was nearly out of time. I started up the stream planning for a final hurrah where I was just going to stream all day in hopes of a miracle run. I was just doing my first run, just trying to warm up, still welcoming people joining for the start of the stream. But I managed to get a 4.15 on map 1 to start the day. And I also nailed Cliffs 2.0, but then it was onto map 2 blocks. And I managed to do these in the most scuffed way possible. Well, I actually do this first try, bro. Oh my. Scenes. And I... Oh my god, I saved it! No! Bro. 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 There's no way. Okay, wait a minute. This has to be the run. This is the first run of the day and I just did that. I had 4 minutes, 38 seconds to beat map 3. My PB was 4 minutes, 32 seconds. But I'd thrown so many of these runs before. Give me that miracle. Come back!